Welcome back to Oracle of Ages Cursed, everybody! I'm Colorful Artie, and we are in the Mermaid's Cave for this episode. Mermaid's Cave is a very interesting dungeon. You can see that things are wrecked already. And let's just say there's a fairly interesting gimmick for this dungeon. Oh boy! I do not like rooms with fireballs that shoot at you infinitely. And Wizrobes are back, oh boy. Wizrobes are annoying little enemies that warp around... Tick uh, wow, I got killed by a snake. Yeah, you can see the statues are destroyed when they've always been awake. So you know what I'm gonna do? Scent seed time. <laughs> that one snake's like, I can smell it! Stupid snakes! Yeah, this is where the game really starts getting hard on a cursed playthrough. Alright, let me deal with you guys one at a time. Yeah, Wizrobes will teleport around and shoot you. They also have a lot of HP on a cursed playthrough. Also, spin attack- I don't think I've mentioned, spin attacks deal extra damage. Alright, so fans are getting interesting now. Cracked wall there, but there's no way up, up, or down. We get the dungeon map. Dungeon looks like a mermaid. Pretty neat nifty. Not a fan of the music in this dungeon very much, but it's it's in a very interesting dungeon. I like it. I do not, I do not, and I am not looking forward to the mini boss in this dungeon though. So hitting the switch will change the terrain around. We can use that to our advantage. Also, if you'll remember, in the room beneath this, there was a cracked wall right there. Avoid the wall masters, they'll take you- I'm sorry, those are actually floor masters. They'll take you back to the beginning of the dungeon. We don't want that. Oh boy, this dice block puzzle. So, we actually want to put it there last, so we'll start by putting it on the red. Gotta turn it around... two times... Fairly tricky puzzle, but not too bad. And we get ourselves a nice key. I feel like a lot of the dungeons in this are purple. This one's purple. Spoiler alert, the next one is purple. Ah, stupid. Red whiz robes aren't too bad, blue whiz robes are terrible though. And we will likely be seeing them in a later dungeon. Also, whiz robes are not affected by uh, sword beams. Alright, so there's nothing we can do up there. Be wary where you shoot, because they might destroy the floor underneath you. Sense Seduced Savage Beasts. So this is really the only time in the entire two games that you can, uh, that you have to use Sense Seeds like that. But that's a pretty cool puzzle. And we get a small key. Hooray. So there's really only one place that we can go that we haven't already. 
And you know what? I am going to save and quit just to warp back to the beginning of the dungeon. That'll be faster. Yep, there's an open doorway this way, okay. Whew. Actually, admittedly, I probably should have gone through here first, because, as we're about to see... ...leads to a dead end. Yep, we have actually explored the entire dungeon, at least as much as we can. You're probably wondering how on earth we can... ...see the rest of the, of the dungeon. Well... ...you'll see. It seems like the rest of the, of the dungeon is completely off-limits and you'll never be able to reach it, but there's a way. But we'll have to do some more stuff in the overworld first. I am not running into Maple on this screen, there's hardly any tra terrain I can traverse on. Stupid weaver. I need full HP, get over here. Alright. Let's go back to the past. And if you're wondering, the mermaid key will not work in the past. I can see your destiny. Go on, spirit, show me all. Oh my, I see you giving something hot to a friend to the grace of the graceful Goron. Yeah, you remember where that guy was. Well, if you don't, I do, so never fear. He's up here. Hey, dude. Don't tell anyone, but I'm friends with the great, famous Graceful Goron. Really? Hey! That key looks like the mermaid key that the Graceful Goron has. You want the Graceful Goron's key, too? Aren't you greedy? Look, I don't know if it will work, but if you give me your lava juice, I'll introduce you to the Graceful Goron. So, can I have the lava juice? Sure. Okay, take this letter of introduction to the Graceful Goron. And we get the letter of introduction. If you show that to the Graceful Goron, he'll understand. Yeah, we gotta dance again. Most unfortunate, because I do not like dancing. But we, we do what we have to. There we go. No, not the Deku Forest. Wrong area. We'll stock up on Mystery Seeds, though. This one. That's just a... Actually, that all in all was not a shortcut. <laughs> oh, look, all these Subrosians instead of Gorons. Only in a Link playthrough. Huh? That's an introduction from the brother? What's this? Give me your mermaid key. How did he know I have it? Oh, well. I can't turn down a brother's request, but I can't just give you this. Dance me for it. If you can match my moves, the mermaid key is yours. So, it's 20 rupees to try. Yeah, fine. Shall I explain the dance? Uh, no. We already know how. We don't care how you dance as long as you have rhythm. Am I a good dancer? But you do care how we dance. One, two, one, two, three. Off rhythm. Woo! That's my favorite. I love the subversions dancing. Take that! What soul? Since a brother has recommended you, I will do as promised. 
And we get the mermaid key. That'll work in the past. Come back if you need another lesson. Yeah, sure, I will. Alright, so, um, before we go there, I kind of want to get a magic potion. I've got a lot of rupees, so... Why not? That clown guy is still staring at the father at some point, and it's kind of creepy. Come on, dude! Not cool! And that's not cool either. Too high up. We gotta go back to Yol Graveyard. That's where you can buy potions. Yep, through here. Magic potion, 300 rupees each. Okay, that syrup's magic ointment. Works great when your hearts run out. And we get a magic potion. Kicks in when you run out of hearts. That's what we want. They're very expensive, but we pretty much had maxed out rupees, so... I wanted to buy one. Plus, we are going to need it for the mini-boss of the Mermaid's Cave. That might be the hardest fight in the game. And not for the good reasons. Alright. Back to the past, Marty! To the Old West! Alright, we jump down here. Okay, that is not fair. <laughs> Swim through the falls. Now that we've got the old mermaid key, we can open this. And welcome to the mermaid's cave, only this time it's in the past. That's the gimmick of the dungeon. You visit it in the past and the present. And you'll notice there are cracked walls here that were not there in the present. We're taking advantage of that. So we blow up that wall, when we go back to the present, the wall will be blown up there. Oh, and this introduces green whiz robes as well. They're like red whiz robes, except they always appear, disappear and reappear in the same spots. Stupid whiz robes. Those robes are annoying. But we gotta kill him. Oh, we don't have to kill him, it's just a gaseous seed. Lame. Oh, this is an interesting new set of enemies. These candles, if you light their wicks, they run around, and if they hit you... That was my magic potion. I had to use the magic potion because of the candles. They are very hard to avoid when you light their wicks, which is... annoying. Oh, that stinks! I can't believe I wasted my potion already. Okay, this is a bad, uh, puzzle. It's completely trial and error. Now this wall opens up, and it'll also open up the wall in the present. Hello. Hey, Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Beware deep waters. That's not what I asked. The 
Mr. Owl, you are of no help. Ah, I'm so mad that my potion got used instantly. And the dungeon map! Yep, we have to go to the past to get our own dungeon map. It's the same map, it's just that some rooms are now in the basement. Or rather, we're then in the basement. Ho 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 ho. That was terrible. Okay, and I'll show off on one reason why the boomerang's so nice. You see these? These are anti-fairies. If you hit them with the boomerang... Oh, they just die. Never mind, they're not anti-fairies. They're just annoying. But you can't kill those guys without the boomerang, so... It's nice to have it. Boo! Ow. Well, you know what? We've actually played, I'd say, the right amount today, so I think we'll leave the episode off there. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time, we will probably finish up the mermaid. No, we won't finish the mermaid's cave, I don't think, but we'll probably at least get the dungeon item. Anyways, have a great day, and God bless.